Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to install this. So I have a suppressor waiting to get on a suppressor jam, and in the meantime I need to install some muzzle devices. So this is a dead air flash hider, is really what this is. I have a couple of these I need to put on a couple different guns. Today we're going to put it on an AK. So I have verified that the AK is unloaded. I have removed the former muzzle device. Uh, this just came with a slant brake. Uh, this is pretty simple, I just hand screwed it off. We're not going to be using this little push button here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but we're not going to be using that today. Uh, and then I just have some rock set and I have this fancy tool here that goes on a ratchet or a torque wrench is what you're supposed to use, but we're just going to do it down and dirty here today, that fits inside the muzzle device. So this is a fancy little tool that I picked up. If, you, if I didn't have that or you didn't want to buy that, uh, this muzzle device and most of them are going to have some kind of wrench flats so that you can just hand torque it on with a normal wrench. Ordinarily, you'd need to clean it or remove anything, but this is a pretty brand new rifle. It only has like 30 some rounds through it or something at this point. So it's not going to need any cleaning or anything like that. Threads are clean. Uh, it, the muzzle device itself is brand new. So we'll just put some rock set on both of them, hand tighten it on, and then crank it on. things to note here. Uh, if you do want to buy that fancy tool, that is made by AAC. Um, so that's their fancy flash hider tool. If you search like AAC flash hider tool, you'll be able to find that. I think it ended up costing like 30 some bucks. Another thing, if you want to time your flash hider, you know, because you want to get the edges lined up perfectly and everything, you can use shims to do that. Um, I don't care about that. If it was a muzzle brake, I'd be a little more concerned, but with a flash hider, just a three-pronged flash hider, that's not really going to bother me which direction it's exactly pointing. So I didn't care about that. You might. Again, you do you on your gun. Okay, so that's it. That's the muzzle device right there. All I did was crank it on. I keep it pretty simple when I make these. Um, if you want to use a torque wrench and you want to specify the poundage to pull, knock yourself out. I'm sure some people will say I did it wrong. That's fine, this is just how I do it. Um, I'll let it set for 24 hours, and then we'll do the pew-pews. Do brave deeds, and endure. 